Hello and good luck. All right, round three. We were watching one of the replays, and the person currently ranked first, thankfully not the person we're playing against, picked up every single one of those loyal Cathars. Yeah, we watched a couple of his replays. There was one game where he actually managed to play all four. Nice. Imagine what he could be doing if we gave him that angelic <laughs> the overseer. overseer. Yeah. Although I don't think he would have gotten it. Uh, but I don't no, think, I don't think we mulligan this. Let's remember our rule. Can't mulligan. Oh right, of course. How. Oh, oh god, <laughs> that's so bad. There's nothing we have that would have done anything anyways, so yeah. I don't feel horrible. We watched this guy's replay too. We're in trouble. We're taking three, three. then six, or three and then, then three more, unless we just, I don't know, we're just taking three again next turn. All right, so hopefully we draw Walking Corpse would be sort of our... Walking Corpse would be like the god play right here. Nope. Not the island, though. So that's unfortunate. So yeah, we're taking another six here. Wow, this could be a very quick last round. <laughs> like... Because we have to play out the Scholar and Chump. And just chump it for nothing. Yeah. Well, I don't think we can take another... Unless, again, we get a, a Walking Corpse, in which case we can play that out instead. Oh, wow, Clifftop Retreat. Okay. Multi-lands. Cheater. Getting multi-lands in your colors in draft? That's a beaten. Oh, oh, oh no, that's now we can't even jump. Oh. Wow. We are just straight str screwed. Straight ruined, aren't we? Like, I guess in a couple turns we can play out the bone flinger, but at that point, what we take four now? <laughs> We're going to ten. I don't know that our deck is going to get another chance to shine like it did in round one. No. It was so glorious back then. Yeah, this guy's deck is too fast. Turn one waif, we just can't do anything to it. I guess we actually, we actually could have chumped there. I. Oh, why? He didn't attack with a wolf. No. Weird. Whoops, that's totally my bad. Oh, well, whatever. I'm not super concerned. Oh, God. Wait, now that was first strike. Okay. So we play out the alchemist. Yeah, I guess we do. Yeah. And then... Alright. We're back in the game. Do we even loot? Probably not. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think we need to. Plus, we want to be able to block next turn. Yeah. In fact, we can double block the Pyroheart Wolf, and it can't kill uh, the, the alchemist. No. Can kill the scholar though. Yes. But it's not really the end of the world. Because we can block and loot. Yeah. Because we've got plenty of land. Yeah. We can get rid of. And then we can bone flinger and kill the and kill the merciless predator. Yeah. You know, we got a we got a plan here. Alright, Cathar. That's not the end of the world. He'll probably sack the Cathar this turn, actually. I don't know if he does. Alright, so I guess, yeah. Double blocks on the wolf. Then then he definitely, if we do that, then he definitely will want to Cathar just so he can kill the alchemist. But what? Why are you not attacking? Wait, you're just attacking with that? Okay, we'll take the one point. Of, do we even, we can't block it. Yeah, we can. With oh, both we double them. block it? Yeah. But then we lose the alchemist, right? We lose the Scholar. We only lose the Alchemist if he cracks the Cathar or has a Geist Flame. Like, do we do we even like maybe just take the one? Like, yeah, all right. Ow, I guess. Like, yeah. If he just wants to hit us for one, I think we can probably. I'm gonna loot at the end of the turn here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's to be expected. Not land. Sweet. <laughs> uh, uh, doesn't matter. Island. Sure. All right. Okay, so. Bone Flinger, the... Uh, now he's... Uh, I see, now he's got a 2-2 two -two with First Strike. So he can stop the Alchemist. So we could Bone Flinger the Cathar and swing with the Alchemist... Forcing him to block with the predator. Predator. 
Not really forcing him to block. Well, he, although actually, he, yeah, because then we get a, we theoretically could get a whole bunch of zombies. Yeah. Sure. Let's do that. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't really I'm, know what to do here now. I don't really know what other option we have. I'm a little. Let's, I'm a little scared. We could play Grim Grim, but I don't think he does much for us right now. No, he does not. Because he can't even sack. Oh no, he could have sacked. He could have sacked him. He didn't though. So now swing with that. Yeah, that's, that's okay. That's fine. We have a backup alchemist. And yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm feeling a lot better now. I mean, granted, we're at ten and he's at twenty. We've stabilized though. He's got a lot of land. He's only got two cards in hand though. Okay, so he gets a pitch four. So now he has first strike. So does he just swing again? I don't see why he would. Okay, sweet. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I forgot to loot. Oh, That's well. fine. Whatever. Okay, so now we... Another alchemist? Get out and And then swing with the bone flinger? Or maybe just play with the fucking fortress crab? Because he can't get through. Then we just block all day. Hmm. Oh, I guess the pirate hole will be... Because the alchemist ma makes the bone flinger do the, the creature mill. That's true. Okay, sure. Go for it. Like, he'll just block with the wolf. Yeah, but then the wolf will die. Well, it comes back. Yes, that's true. That is true. Kind of forgot about that, actually. That's fine. Whatever. We get rid of one of the undying. We get rid of the undying. That is fine. Don't mind. So now we pass the turn. Yeah. Because there's nothing else. Remind me to... Loot? Or don't don't even want to, necessarily. Actually, is it the beginning of your next end step? Beginning of your end step. Okay. So if we wanted, we could do that and flip... Or and pitch the cannibals. And then flip that guy. Yeah. I think that's probably not a bad idea. Yeah. What the... Ooh. Oh, man... That's a problem. Damn it. <laughs> I really wanted to get big with the Undead Alchemist. It's hilarious to watch. It really is. Well, is he going to swing? Because we can't block that. No, he's not. All right. Cannibals. Yep. All right. So now we can Grim Grin and the next turn do the Grim Grin Banshee combo. Yep. Can't swing, though, because he's got first strike again. Yeah, no, we can't. Oh, well. Big Grims. Well, I mean... Yeah, no, we don't want to. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right. Let's so it depends hope on what works. He, yeah, it depends on what he has here. I'm he's, glad he, he 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 used into the maw on undead, and yeah. that, I'm okay with that. Seems like he's sort of running a gas. Okay, then we take two. Okay. Because we have no good blocks. Well, we can't. Oh yeah, we can't block right. Silly. I forgot this guy gets tapped again once he becomes normal. That's not that bad. Okay, that's fine. All right. Okay, so sacrifice the. Bone Flinger to Grim Grin. Okay. Right. Why the Bone Flinger? Because we can get him back with the Ghoul Razor. Okay. Yeah, sack that to that. Untap him. Attack. Uh, no, uh, Banshee, Banshee, the Hound. Hound, and then attack. Well, it doesn't really matter. Banshee, the either guy. Yeah, and, and then, yeah, yeah. Grim Grin, the other guy. Yeah. Right. Doing this, and then Big Banshees. Kill that one. And then... Uh... No, it's too late. We could have uh, Civilized Scholar there. And then discarded Oop. a creature. Can we... No. No. Darn it. Oh well. Big meaty beats. Man, can you imagine if the Undead Alchemist was out? We mill him for seven and get however many dudes. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Got it. Wow. All right. Recovery. Yeah, that was sweet. 
All right. All right, now time for some secret loading ready run sideboarding. Which is the submit button. Yep. <laughs> it's my favorite kind of sideboarding because it requires no mental effort. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I feel pretty good about that. We managed to come back from that one. Oh, man. I'm putting an end to our no mulligan rule. <laughs> the answer we is will mulligan? Just, we will lose if we All can't right. keep that. Okay. <laughs> That's better. Fine. Good enough. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna. That's, that's not horrible, actually. But we're it's... gonna. Oh, hey. We can't. Can't block. We won't, we won't be able to trade it off in time. Oh, can't no, be blocked. Block block oh, can be blocked by anything else. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get the crab. But that guy's gonna seriously run run away with the first half of this game. Yeah, it, it's that is better than the waif. True. Although with that, it's kind of annoying. Oh man, is he going to get Vigilance? That's just rough. That being said, if we don't draw fourth land, we're in kind of trouble anyways. <laughs> no kidding. Although, I mean, we get the Chosen out next turn. And... Oh, boy. That Noble is just a beating. Especially with the collar on it. That's yeah, just this is mean. He's got nothing else, though. I don't think. Oh, unless he has the wave here. Oh, if he has. Oh, we have the chosen, so we're fine. Ooh. Okay. Um. Uh, I think we want to get that out now, because then we can yeah. just eat. Then we can just trade those off with death touch wise. Yep. James can be heard shuffling, <laughs> shuffling actual magic cards. So he does he attack anymore? Uh, I don't he think can, so. Can really? Haha! -ha. Stabilized. Sweet. Okay. So now we play out. Um, Alchemist will be a 5-3. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right. We can even swing with the captain, because it's got death touch. But I, I think that's a bad idea. Is it, though? Like, we might want to get in for... But then we take four next turn, and this guy's got Vigilance, so he's not going to tap. Yeah, no, that's true. Keep him back to block. I'd rather just block the Noble with the captain. Yeah. This guy's face is funny. Mm. Just some more zombies in the background. Mm. I'm made of parts. All right. You got five. You think he'd be a zombie wizard if he's an undead alchemist? Ooh, interesting. He's attacking. I okay. think we block. Yeah, we block with this guy. Yeah, that's. I'm okay with that opportunity. I'm I mean, assuming he has something going on. Probably. I mean, it makes our alchemist smaller, but I'm okay with that. So now he plays the creature to block the alchemist. Oh wow, he's just gonna he's gonna tap out completely to do alchemist flashback guys. Wow, okay, that's fine, whatever. All right, because now we play out probably the sightless ghoul or the chosen. Uh, well, we can't flip the chosen, but the ghoul can't block. And it's but he won't dying. be attacking. He won't be attacking in time. So it's chosen. chosen I guess. Yeah. Another land there would have been nice. But Another land would have been sweet. Although we drew the walking corpse, so it's not a huge. Thing. Oh right. We, I was about to say if we drew the land, we would yeah, play played the chosen and the walking corpse. But but yeah. no, because we drew the yeah. Okay. Ooh, he's got nothing. Tanking. Oh man. Suck. Okay, so swing. See what happens. He might have something here. I guess. Yeah. All right, now we'll play the ghoul. Yep. Hmm. Glad we got that noble out of the way. That guy's a yeah, no beating when you don't when you have a slower deck. Uh oh. Oh god. Blasphemous act. Oh. Wow. Okay. okay. So <laughs> they can't in. block anyway. Yeah. All right, so he's getting in for four. So. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, because we're swinging back for four. Yep. Although he's winning that race. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, we got a Sweet. bat, so that's cool. We can... I think we swing. Swing with both and then bat, and then maybe even transform the bat next turn, because then the transformed bat can eat that guy. Yeah. Or we can fortress crab just to hold the guy back. Actually, maybe just a fortress crab. Yeah. I keep forgetting about the crab. Yeah, because of crab he's so just... He's so unassuming. Yeah, he just... Blocks and it would, take a, it would take a lot of burn to get rid of that crab. Yeah. You're just doable. 
actually, I guess all, well, I, I, mean, all I had to do was block once and then and fires then, of undead. Yeah. It's not it's not actually that impossible. What now? <laughs> all right. That's actually really bad. Yep. Because that keeps us off another land. It's not the worst. We can still play our Screeching Bat. So we're taking four. Then we, okay, so I think we're... Okay, sweet. So the bat? Yeah, I think the bat. So swing and then the bat. Then the bat what? Chumps? No, because I don't think we need to chump yet. All right. I mean, if we want to chump, I'd rather the walking corpse. That's true. So we take another four here. Then we transform the bat. Mm, that still doesn't kill him, though. If he doesn't swing, I just hope we top deck land and then he eats somebody and we can um, banshee. Ah, right. Vigilance. Hmm, okay. Are so you okay going to three here? I don't know if we are, actually. I don't think we are. That seems bad. Um, that being said, uh, no, because then he doesn't need to. That he only needs to hit us one more time. Yeah. Okay. I think. Yeah. We need to. We need to. Fuck with that. Suck. Come on, land. No, oh, he has something else. Ooh, that's a problem. Yikes. Cool. All right. Swings, banshee, warlord. Yeah. Do you can eat both our guys though. This and guy then... will come back. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see what happens. Get in there. <laughs> what the hell, Sightless Ghoul? Figure it out. He might just take it because he knows we want Morbid. Nope. No Markov Warlord for you. So now we're taking three next turn. Probably. But we can play out our fiend next turn, mm -hmm. which is pretty sweet. Which holds it trade, I guess. Oh, okay. He got land there, so that's that's something. Collar, swing. Can't do anything about that. Ooh, Cathar. Okay. Mm hmm. Yippers. Hmm. Plus one, plus one will actually stop the cat. Guys, I'm trading with the. Wow. He just wants to get four damage really? in right there? <laughs> <laughs> we are recording. Oh well. Okay. So, why did he want to do that? Because he's got four damage? Oh! oh, the <laughs> oh. Sick beats. All right. Very nice. Very nice. All right, so he has a fling. All right. Oh, yeah. One second. Let me just respond to that. We're recording. It'll be up tomorrow. That's not how you spell tomorrow at all. Tomorrow. Alright. Alright, go away. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's win this. Alright, yes. going to game three. We, we will do. absolutely play first. Uh, that's not great. Again, we're not doing anything until turn four. I can't see it getting yeah. better necessarily, so no. No malls. Check out the sweet swamp tech. I realize we should have just... I, I've been clicking this whole time, but with no instance, we should have just been F6ing everything. Pretty much. <gasps> he doesn't, hey, he doesn't have a turn one play. Ah, damn it. I was really hoping for a walking corpse there. Yeah, that would have been good. He's got to have a turn two. Oh, sweet. That's fine. I'll take it. Okay, three drop. Son of a bitch. Man. That's fine. At least it's our... All right, so next turn we go to the crab, which will pretty much just stop whatever he plays here, unless it's a flyer. Holding stuff down. Yep. Cool. That holds down. Crab people. In fact, that kills his... Keswick Wolf... He has no attacks now. Yay, no attacks. Even if he gives him this stupid pitchfork, which would be dumb. 
all they can give it first strike. Yeah. That's all it's going to do. It's first strike that he doesn't have to pay for anymore. I guess that's better. Sort of. Not really. Hey, it's the noble. We can kill that too. Yep. Not anymore. Oh, wait. Yeah, we can. Because that only gives it first strike. Son of a bitch. Okay. Freaking. Uh, Alchemist, I guess. Or Garl to chump and then Drake next turn. Yeah, that's actually probably better. Indeed, it is. Oh, wait. He can't block the noble. And he won't attack with the wolf. Oh, but the fortress crab will still kill it. Yeah. Okay, never mind. We're fine. We'll, we'll see what happens. I don't think he attacks. No, he doesn't. No. Son of a bitch. Uh, could have you garled at the end there? Probably should have. You should do that now. Uh, why? So we get a creature in the bin, so we can oh, cast right, six right, strike, right, right. and we know we will get a creature in the bin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unless it's a land. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you dick! <laughs> All right. Uh, it would have been better to swing in and banshee. Oh, well, I guess it's this guy then. Can't do anything else. You can get a banshee up for no value, I suppose, but that just seems bad. Suck balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> oh wait, we couldn't. I couldn't have garled. Did a turn. He'd just come out. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. What ifs? What ifs? Keys. We're all right. We're sweet. He doesn't have anything good. Unless he plays something good. Mm, yeah, mm, which is very, a strong play. Very, That's not that good, actually. Very, very zen yeah. uh, magic uh, strategy there. Yeah, he doesn't have anything good <laughs> unless he plays something good. Okay, so now, now we swing and try to trigger some morbid shit going on. You here. swing with this guy? Uh, yeah, and probably just the uh, no, because he can first strike this dude. That seems bad. Yeah, so maybe swing with the fortress grab too. <laughs> really. <laughs> I'll probably just let it through. That's true. Okay, so swing with Garl then? I'll probably just let Garl through as well. Probably. Oh well. That means we're winning. Yeah, he does. We're winning. So okay. do we we don't want to play either of these guys. Uh I guess actually milling ourselves would have been better yeah, there because we would have been more likely to have a thing happen. Uh, I think we just pass. Yeah. I'd rather not play the Banshee without her ability. Although, is that is it better just to get a, another body down? I, it, I mean, a 4-4 four, four is not nothing. It's true, but he doesn't have an attack next turn. Like, he still doesn't really have an attack. All right. I, I think we're... Uh, I don't even know. That might be a bad idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. LRRMTG. That might be a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. I think just LRMTG. We're sorry. We come up with the best mottos. Well, he also doesn't have a play, so that's incredible. Okay, now Garl. Okay. Are you freaking <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> oh, we suck. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Do we just swing with the Alchemist? Uh, no, because then the, no, wolf, the wolf will just kill him for free. That's yeah. bad. No, that's bad. That's super bad. I guess we just keep... Whoops. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. Like, okay, so next turn... Like, at this rate, next turn we can Stitch Drake and Banshee. If we get something in the bin. If we freaking get something in the bin. He still doesn't have a great attack. He's got... He keeps getting land, but he's still got four cards in hand. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This gets interesting. How I much still... mana do we have? We've got... I don't know if Nine. Yes. Ten. Nine. Oh, right. Ten. Okay. So, if we Garl, yeah. then Stitch Drake, because I know we're not going to hit another land, because I will have... come through that computer screen and punch Mitko in the face. Do you have Supreme Confidence? Yay. Yay. Okay, so I think now we... That... This guy. The flare. This guy. And the noble, right? Yeah. Then it gets a whole lot better for us. That was just, 
a really, really long waiting game. <laughs> so now it depends on what he draws next turn, because that can make things kind of kind of terrifying. Yeah. Well, he's, he's still got four cards in hand and a ton of mana. Yeah, like, he can pretty much cast anything in his deck. Like, he probably has Into the Maw coming up at some point, I'm sure, which will just kill anything, but that doesn't really matter, I don't think. So he has five cards. He did not draw a land by the looks of it. Which is bad, bad for us. Good for him. That does not really matter so he's much. Playing an Avacyn's Caller, okay. I think he's kind of freaking hard here. Yeah, I don't think he has much. So he's gonna... Is he gonna start attacking? Uh, he still can't. He still has no attacks. He still has no attacks. So now... Oh! <laughs> okay. Sweet. Looks like it's time for this plan. Um, well, we can swing with the Stitch Drake and the Falcon Wraith Noble. Which I think we do. Just both those guys. Yeah, we get in for five here. Unless he's got removal, in which case, whatever, the Noble triggers. The Noble triggers oh, and... Uh-oh. Okay. Rebook. Okay. All right. Now we have Morbid on the... Banshee. Oh, yeah, we do. Can we do both of those guys this turn? Do we have ten mana? Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so That's the greatest. So Banshee, the uh, noble, I guess? Is it? Yeah, probably. Because, to be honest, yeah, I don't think we care about it. The, the Kessick Wolf can be held down by the Fortress Crab for pretty much ever at this point. Uh, yeah. And then... Sure. Garl. Nice. This guy. Oh yeah. Yay, triggers. Yeah. And now the fun part. And now for our party piece. Grimgrin, corpse bond. Welcome to the party, Grimgrin. So we swing for like a billion damage next turn. I think he's pretty much ruined here. It depends. I mean, into the maw. Kind of, maybe, sort of. Well, I guess I mean into the maw kills Grim Grin. That's that's not that's not nothing. That being said, he's still taking a lot of damage. Like we can just swing in with a lot of stuff here. And his guy will survive though. Uh oh. Into the maw. No, the warlord. Okay. That's... I can't imagine he's going to be swinging with that guy though. It looks like he might be because he's. Nope. No. Hmm, okay. So, sacrifice... Garl? Garl to Grimgren. Yeah. Kill the Warlord. Yeah. Or even... The first strike is scarier. Uh, it doesn't... I don't it, think it matters. That way, like, whatever the Warlord blocks, it'll trade with. Yeah, because but... it's either going to be the Alchemist or the Banshee, and it'll just trade. Whereas this can actually kill one of our things. Uh... Profitably. Yeah, but so can he. Both these things can kill anything except for Grimgrin, right? Yeah, but they'll actually trade. Oh, okay. Whereas so this guy yeah, will yeah, just kill true. it because he's still got the first strike mana. Up. Okay, so let's do that. This guy. Oh, man. Turns out creatures have great synergy with each other. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now. Giant beatings. Oh my goodness, this is just... Everything is happening. So what does he block here? I'm curious. Well, he can't block the can't Falcon block Wraith the, Noble. Does he block the Unnet Alchemist? I kind of hope he doesn't, because then, then, you, we get a, then you get your freaking zombies. Hey! Oh, yes! You I'm finally so get some excited. zombies! I can, watch us brick all four triggers. Isn't he just straight dead here on damage alone? 7, 11, 11 12, 13. Yes, he is. No. So you don't. Oh. <laughs> Unless he has some other trick here. I was so excited. Oh, he does. Oh, is he going to kill the Alchemist? Oh, fling. okay. He flung at the noble. Okay, very nice. So he's not dead. But look at oh god, the zombies is still gonna happen. We're gonna get some zombies. <laughs> oh yeah, holy crap! Oh. I that a lot of triggers. Oh my goodness! Yeah, because right. it's Cause, four from the Under yeah, Alchemist and seven from Grimgrin. 
Wait, and what did he? He lost one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there you go. Seven. He lost seven creatures, and they get exiled too. Yep. There you go. Oh, got there, and we can play our fiend of shadows. <laughs> I am. Don't forget the fiend. I am giddy. I am giddy with delight. Come on, click better. There we go. Eh. Just add insult to injury, really, at that point. All right, blasphemous act. That would do it. Blasphemous act would do it. Nope. <laughs> Got there. All right. <laughs> I can't even tell you how happy I am. Uh, well, our, our blue. We went two and one. Blue, blue black mono creature deck. I think that's probably the. I would argue that's probably one of the better. If we had to go mono creatures, blue black was probably yeah. one of the better uh, now, color combinations we, to be in. We we had theorized in advance that because we were thinking of Avison Restored and Avison Restored, especially like in um, uh, uh, blue green or in red white uh, or mono black, has very good creature interaction, particularly um, uh, red white or mono black. Um, and then we thought that maybe that would be too easy. And so we would do the we would do DII, but that that deck turned out fantastically. Deck, pretty exciting. I mean, you you, you can't uh, you can't plan on double Grimgrin. No, he pretty much yeah he he got us. He there. was an all star. I am so thrilled about that uh, that whole thing. So uh, do give us a follow on Twitter at uh, l r r m t g. That's how to how to follow our magic related stuff. At uh, loading ready run is just is uh, all of our things. Uh, we do a whole bunch of different comedy stuff. If you're just into magic, maybe it's not for you, but we do funny things. Um, my, I am uh, on Twitter. I am Graham underscore LRR. James is James underscore LRR. And, of course, LoadingReadyRun.com is where to find all of our good stuff. And, as always, if you're looking for people who uh, you know to really, really learn from, there's Anybody other... else on this site, basically, I think is what we've agreed on. Highly recommend our friend Marshall. Yep. And uh, I've very much enjoyed... Simon Gertz and stuff as well. So, anyway, hope uh, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we will see you again in a fortnight. Loading, ready, run, MTG. Wow, that worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>